Welcome back to Oxenfree. We just followed Jonas into the cave with the strange light coming out of it. And uh, before jumping back in, I just wanted to show you the main menu. So if you remember before, before I started the game, the main menu was just a completely gray background. Which I thought was a bit strange. I was thinking something might end up appearing, depending on what you do in the game. And indeed, it looks like the background changes with, uh, I guess, your current location. Because this is where we last left off, right here in the cave. Oh yeah, that's so cool. It's like a seamless transition from the menu to, to here. Alright. Let's see if we can hear anything. Nothing. Oh, I can climb this. I am super impressed with Alex's ability and, and willingness to just climb up these rock walls. I mean, that's, like, that's super dangerous with no equipment at all. If you fall from up there, you're probably going to break something. I guess we climb down. I was thinking maybe I'd have to use the radio and activate another light or something. This cave is gorgeous. So big and so open. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? Contemplative smoking by the river? Whoa, what is that? Oh, Jonas, see a man, see a man about a dog. Um, see a man about a dog. Sure, will do. I've heard see a man about a horse, but not about a dog. Also, I have no idea what it means in its original form or in this form. I think it's supposed, is this supposed to be like a poor excuse? Like, uh, excuse me, I have to uh, see a man about a horse. Actually, I'm going to research it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, to see a man about a dog or horse is an English idiom, usually used as a way to apologize for one's imminent departure or absence, generally to euphemistically conceal one's true purpose. Are you okay? Ah, Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me! I had no idea where you were! I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but, you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's, uh... it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. 
Maybe it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's gonna eat out our stomachs. <laughs> well, where is he then? In which of these tiny air holes does he hibernate? <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Yeah, sounds good. Whoa, these crystals. Oh my god. What is that triangle in the air right in between the two crystals up there? Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold, but not all of it. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating... Um, triangle light thing? Mm-hmm. Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave triangle rainbows. It doesn't really look like a trick of light, Jonas. It looks like someone's science fair project just floating there. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Well, if I did... Neat. I finally know what it feels like to catch a big trout. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Hmm. It's turning red and it's like pointing at me. Ooh. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. What's that? Are you gonna make me beg? That does not sound good. Oh my god. That sounds horrifying. Please, Alex. Please. Let's okay, okay, do okay. The tuning thing. Oh my god. Is this. Are you. Is this. You? Are you doing this? Wait. Why did you stop? We don't even know what that thing is. Yeah, exactly. Let's find out. Okay. Leave 
possible. Bobtail. Leave, children. Bye. <laughs> See you soon. soon. Alex! just happened we were under water Alex Alex I just want to mention something before we continue so I think the description for the game mentioned opening like a portal so I guess that would be the portal that we just opened with those triangles tuning to the right frequency to make them all connect then something started communicating with us. And it's interesting, they were communicating with us with these like little clips of different voices, as if they had been intercepting radio transmissions of people. And, you know, sort of like the, like that, what is it, the, the like ransom note that's made out of clipped letters from magazines and stuff so you can't identify their handwriting or anything like that. Sort of like that, where it's like they clipped out different words and phrases from people's uh, radio transmissions and use that to communicate so kind of stilted and a little bit odd what they were saying because I guess they, they didn't have the perfect clips to work with but yeah it's interesting Alex are you okay you alright I think so I don't know God. Are you okay? Yeah, I think. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. No, I'm way ahead of you. There's got to be some kind of emergency station, or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it, but if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. Jonas, believe me, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not that cruel. <sighs> okay, well, I hope so. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Wait, Jonas, seriously, like, what just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something, and that something did something else. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, how the hell did we get here? That's kind of my biggest question at the moment. We just appeared here behind... Oh, I have a map, right, where are we? Hardened Tower. So we came all the way from... Uh, well, I guess we were in the cave on, on Beacon Beach, so we came all the way from there to Hardened Tower? Behind an electric fence? H how? Uh, don't touch that, please. I'd really prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. She might not take too well to the news. This all seems a little much, right? Like it's just a rusty old communications tower? They're not keeping dinosaurs in here. Maybe some kids climbed it drunk, fell off, and died. I don't know, but it's here, so don't touch. Hardened Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> that would explain why I remember it. <laughs> Jesus, what a name.
can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably the same thing as us. Transmogrified or whatever to some other part of the island. Great. Oh yeah, does it does it show them on the map? No, no other icons. It's locked. Let me try. They can pick locks, can't they? And what exactly can you do except jiggle it more? Oh, you'll see. What's the expression? Skills of a misspent youth? That's not an expression. That's right, they did go to jail. Maybe they were a thief? <clears throat> well, if you want to do things the easy way, sure. Those are some sickly yellow How lights. This thing? The fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> Is, um, is anyone there? It's, um, dead. Yeah. Did you get anyone? Sounded like a thousand souls calling from a different plane. I think someone was there, but I don't know. Warning, do not use aboard ship. Unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Thanks, I guess. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nada. Jesus! Hello? Alex? Alex? Is that you? Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I... You guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> it's still funny. Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like like just the worst thing ever. Just Defcon Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Like worse than Kendall's basement. Why how did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out, or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's, like, a night watchman or something, or they do, like, check-ins, maybe? What's that? Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you. Of course he is. I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I... I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. I... I don't remember, like, the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. I just want to... Ah, sure. We'll be over there in a minute. Okay, just hurry, okay? There's like... I don't know, I'm hearing stuff outside. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... 
And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Ren, are you still there? Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. You told Clarissa we're coming, so want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Uh, yeah. If we can connect to the mainland and get somebody over here, we should do it as soon as we can. My thoughts exactly. Well, honestly, the real reason is I just want to spend as little time with Ren as possible. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go to Clarissa first. All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. To get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. We're just gonna walk through what amounts to a park to pick up some frightened children, Jonas. Don't get ahead of yourself. Act as if. That's all I'm gonna say, act as if. So yeah, if we look where Clarissa is, I think Jonas right before Clarissa got cut off was asking, saying something about how it's a really big place. Like, where are you exactly? And yeah, looking at it from here, it is very large. Fort Milner, it's got all sorts of facility buildings, Milner Outpost, and then it looks like Clarissa's at the US Army RCS, whatever that means. I like the music. Nice and synthy. Music's so cool. Epiphany Field. So, just curious, but um, what's your running theory? Well, you played with the radio, a triangle came out, the triangle talked, hung out a little, then drowned us, but not, and now we're here. Yep. That. Those were the events. Good talk. <laughs> it's cool, you can see the tower in the background. So yeah, Epiphany Field, um... Oh, the little yellow triangles, I guess, indicate places where you can transition to another place. So yeah, it looks like there's a door through the, I guess the same fence that was protecting Harden Tower that leads up to the Fort Milner. Okay. And of course, a bunch of other ways we can go. I guess we can go to Towie Woods if we wanted to go to Wren first. Uh, but it also looks like from Fort Milner, there's a bridge up there that looks like it also goes to Relay Point where Wren is. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to head to Fort Milner. <laughs>